Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, I've had a few people ask me some questions about um, my three-wheeler, what I ride, so I figured I would uh, just go ahead and share that information, show a little bit about it, talk a little bit about it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy. I am still very new at doing this, obviously, because uh, my first five videos were a little bit rough, but hey, I'm gonna keep trying, so. Uh, anyway, I am Ron. Um, I ride a 1984 Yamaha 225 DX. Um, it is shaft driven. And it's got electric start, but I have that removed because I took the battery off. Um, just trying to drop a little bit of weight on it. Um, these things are notoriously heavy um, because of the steel wheels, the, the shaft. Um, it's, it's much different than a chain driven machine, but it also makes for great wheelies. So. Um, but yeah, just a couple things I'll go over um, that I've done with this. Uh, when I got it, it was uh, very, very oxidized on the plastics. So I tried my best to clean those up. Uh, it's not perfect, but um, it does the job. So I put brand new, brand new wheels um, on the back, brand new tires on the front and back. Um, these are just Sun F tires on the back. And then these are the... Uh, Kendra front max tires on the, uh, or Kenda, sorry, front max tires on the front, um, which is a fantastic tire, excellent steering capabilities. Um, it's just, it's a great tire. Uh, I put ATV Pro Taper ATV high bars on. Um, those have been a game changer. They've been great. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed having those. Um, the uh, exhaust, I swapped that out for a DG pipe. It's full, full exhaust. Um, I bought mine off of eBay, but there are some other places that do sell them. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that's that. And then uh, the carburetor is not a stock carburetor. It is a modified 30 millimeter carburetor um, that I used. Um, yeah, it's probably a cheap China carburetor, but to be honest with you, um, it it works great. Um, it's not the stock. I believe the stock is a 24 or maybe a 26 millimeter, but yeah, this is a, a modified 30 millimeter. Um, if you want to know anything more about how to do that, um, just, uh, put some, uh, comments in the comment section and I will try to explain it to you as best I can. Um, basically it's, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple procedure, and it really, really wakens, uh, wakens this up. Um, but uh, yeah, so that is as far as performance goes. Um, also, I have modified and swapped out the mechanical rear brake assembly for a hydraulic rear brake. Um, I used the um, caliper uh, master cylinder from a... Uh, Yamaha blaster uh, and the reservoir um, from a Yamaha blaster. I don't know if you can see this up here. There's a reservoir right there. Um, it's it's fantastic. It works great. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, and I was just out out at Trike Fest uh, last weekend, and uh, yeah, it's it's like night and day um, compared to. And obviously, the uh, since this already had a disc brake on the back, um, you might think, oh, okay, well, going to a hydro brake isn't really uh, going to change much. But I, I'm telling you what, it it really does. Um, it's consistent uh, grab. Um, you don't have to really make any adjustments uh, until you have to change the pads out. But yeah, it's 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 great. The only uh, thing that I couldn't do. Just by bolting things on, I did cut a piece of aluminum here for the bracket. Um, you know, so most everything is bolted on except for the um, uh, actuator, if you will, for the master cylinder. That had to be welded to the stock um, pedal. So I was able to use a stock pedal, but yeah, I welded that in place. Uh, my welds suck. They don't look great, but um, they do the job. So like I said, I was just at a trike fest, didn't have anything break. So uh, pretty happy about that. Um, the only other thing that I have done with this machine is an aftermarket uh, shock, rear shock. A lot of people will put like uh, Yamaha blaster shocks and things like that on. Um, I tried that uh, for a while and um, quite frankly, I didn't really care for it. It's about an inch shorter than the stock shock. 
Um, you just don't, it, I don't know, it just, it, it didn't, I didn't care for it. But the shock that I used was actually a shock purchased off of Amazon, of all places. And um, you can buy a bushing kit for a blaster conversion. Um, it's not meant for necessarily this uh, three-wheeler, but it does work um, in order to be able to use this particular shock. So if anybody wants to have some information on that, uh, let me know and I can post that up in the, uh, post some links on that um, and kind of go from there. Um, I do have a clamp on filter on this also directly up at the car, but I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of dirty up there, but yeah. So uh, that's, that's, that's what I ride. Uh, it runs pretty good. If you saw one of the previous videos I did from Trike Fest, um, you know, it it did okay against the uh, uh, Honda 250 Big Red, but uh, the uh, modified 250SX um, pulled on me a little bit. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, please just let me know. Uh, leave them in the comments section, and I will uh, do my best to answer them. I appreciate your time. See ya.